Around the world, the American West lives on in a kind of twilight zone, with a cult following. In Germany, the granddaddy of Wild West spectacles is the annual Karl May Festival, named after the writer of popular adventure tales. It's held in Bad Segeberg, a small town near Hamburg. A quarter of a million people see these Western dramas every year. The festival combines a theme park with open-air theater and is a fine place to see Hollywood-style sets, get autographs of German actors, and buy authentic souvenirs. There's no dress code. Still, hardcore fans wouldn't be caught dead wearing anything but realistic gear. Was nun nicht so schön ist, die Leute könnten sich, finde ich, dafür ein bisschen schicker anziehen, ein bisschen zumindest passender, passender, zumindest zur Premierenfeier. Ich bin Abgeordneter im Landtag hier in Schleswig-Holstein und äh, habe natürlich eine, ja, weil das natürlich eine Ehrenkarte mit einem Gast. Und da steht ausdrücklich drin, wir sollen uns auch ein bisschen verkleiden, irgendwie mit Hut und mit äh, Auge und deshalb haben wir uns ein bisschen zurecht gemacht. Ich persönlich hätte die Geschichte Amerikas immer sehr interessiert. Ja, und äh, ich habe so ein bisschen bedauert, was man mit den Indianern gemacht hat. Einmal habe ich dann elf Liter oder sieben Liter und dann kommt das dunkelblau und das ist weiß und so weiter. Ne? Und die Stiefel, also alles dazu passen. Muss alles original sein, sonst geht das nicht. Wenn man das so nachahmt und es ist kein, ist kein Stil drin, dann sehen das die Kinder, auch die anderen Leute, sehen das sofort. New York, Museum, Indianer Museum, New York. Du musst erst ein Sitzpapier haben mit genau den Angaben, dass es Herrschleder sein muss, Papiti-Leder und die Farben muss, die Perkus, alles original. Clearly, we're talking about a labor of love. This tunic is based on a Dakota Indian pattern. Ich arbeite an diesem Kleid jetzt schon seit sechs Jahren. But the actors, of course, have a costume department, which does a little outsourcing from time to time. Oh, es wurde letztes Jahr von einer äh, Schülerin gemacht als Facharbeit. Ja, genau. Das ist ganz neu. Ich habe das Glück, ein ganz neues Kleid zu tragen. Generations of Germans first learned about cowboys and Indians from Karl May. Judging by the crowds, no one seems to care much that mine never set foot in the Wild West. As a young man, Karl May was a teacher, but also a habitual thief and fraudster. During a prison sentence for theft, he began to research adventure stories set in the Far East and American West. On this frontier, the good folks are mostly of German descent, sing German songs, and live in places with names like Helldorf Settlement. It's like a Western colony that Germany never had. Ah, die Fahrgäste für den Zug. Mai lived out his personal fantasies through old Shatterhand, his dashing hero, a crack shot and defender of moral virtues. Old Shatterhand is friends with such honorable natives as the Apache chief Winnetou, who reads Longfellow and, of course, speaks fluent German. This unlikely duo promotes peace, justice, and greater cultural understanding. Inevitably, this means protecting the Germanic settlers in their drive west. The bad Indians naturally wear dark clothes and are morally suspect. Their chief smokes a mind-blowing weed and is in cahoots with the pale-faced outlaws. Beyond the obvious cliches, the characters have their own quirks and subtleties. The theater director, Norbert Schulze, knows he's playing to a discriminating audience. I don't have to explain one of the characters to the audience. They know them. They know them from the books. They know who Winnetou is. They know who Shatterhand is. I think the, the movies in the 60s, when they came out, they were so tremendous successful with Per Brees as Vinetu. Uh, and they run every year on television. Who's come? Get this in the final. Hey, here! 
Winnetou und Old Shatterhand nehmen es mit jedem Gegner auf. The books, however, focus less on the action scenes. I had a lot of problems when I had to read Kaumai. I have to read one of his books every year, and I find it so dull. That may be, but over 100 million copies have been sold in more than 30 languages. You find all these crazy German-speaking uh, Westerners <laughs> in these stories. And this is the very, very specific Karl May Western world. Also, we were in the USA and in, 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 in Florida and we looked at Reservat and Karl May had nothing, I think, to do with the Indian Reservat and the Wilden Westen of America. Ah, Charlie! Altes Greenhorn! La la la, Tim! They don't think that we are doing the real Wild West. They know that we do the Karl May world of the Wild West. <laughs> They expect the Indian rituals, they expect the Westerners, really the very, very bad guys, and they have to ride a black horse and they have to be dressed in black, and the good ones are dressed in light. The hell costume tag, that's not the good. We are the politicians. He explained something to the people which was very well researched. And this kind of uh, friendship between men was something very new. This is for my. Shatterhand and Winnetou are the two greatest that came to a friendly understanding. So far, it was a positive influence. As a director, I try to do it as real as possible, but not to frighten the children. Wo es keine Gewalt heutzutage, aber die Gewalt wird gut gemacht durch das Gute in den hellen, die hellen, hellen Kostüme tragen, die macht alles wieder gut. Aus dem hohen, rauen Norden kommen wir, da lebt man Country Music und ein kühles Bier. Wenn wir auf der Bühne stehen, spüren wir den Nordwind wehen und erweht dann unsere Lieder auf zu dir.